And it's gonna be rad. <laughs> um, and it's gonna be rad. Seven, six. No, six. I know, I did seven. <laughs> Counting, not our forte. We talked about it. We did. Nah. Um, talk about today. We have a lot of things to talk about. We have a ton today. of stuff. You can see it all on the desk. Mm. And some stuff that's not on the desk. We mm. have some sneaks of new stuff that we've just got in as prototypes. We have the brand new Biggie colorway that's dropping this week. So that's new. Um. <laughs> and then wait. Can you feel that? Can you feel that rumbling? What is that? Something's approaching. It's in my earpiece. <laughs> That's Wait, what joke. is that? Wait, hello. Oh my god! Seezy's <laughs> on his way here! I feel it! I feel it! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Yay! And all Whoa, the way hey! Hey, what's up? All the way from England, We've we lost have Seezy13. <laughs> wow! <Well, hi. laughs> Squeeze in. Oh, let's do the wave. No. <laughs> I said it was a good. Like, um, we have a lot to talk about today. Welcome, Susie. How would you fly you. into the studio? It was quick. It was quick. Yeah, yeah I'm tired. I'm tired. Uh, we also have a couple of pieces to review today that some nice folks have sent us. Uh, what should we talk about first? Toys. Toys. Let's do toys. Let's do toys. perfect. Remember that we have a party on February 28th. Yes. Soho at. 89 Crosby Street, February 28th. We're dropping the classic colorway of the Big Papa with Ron English. And limited edition of them will be crystallized by Swarovski. It's going to be a wild, amazing party. And we have exclusive beer cans from KCBC. It's going to be crazy. Another exclusive awesome nice. stuff. Yes. So be there. We're going to talk about Seize's Canvas first. Yeah, let's, since Seize's here, let's do that. Yes. Okay. What do you want to know about? <laughs> so here's them. Oh, they're 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 in December, we dropped the very first colorway <coughs> of Seize's amazing Cambod design. It's right there. Oh. The first one. Sold out super fast. Yeah. Um, tell us about where the Cambod came from. Okay, right. <clears throat> it's a bit of a sad story in a way. But he's an empty can. You know, he's been sort of left on the pavement. He's, he's probably sprayed wool and he's created something really nice. And then he's been thrown away and discarded. And left feeling empty and love. So yeah, that is for all the empty cans out there. You can rise up and you can have some power in the end. Because now look at the little fucker. He's selling <laughs> out now. He's doing good. So yeah, that was what he was about really. Right. Yeah. Do you need a hug? Yeah, always. <laughs> sure, what do you want? What do you want? Sure, what do you want? Um, that can's not empty anymore. It's not empty. He's no, not. He's, He's full of love he's and half, life. He's half full. He is. So we worked with you on this and so far we have released one of your colorways yep. and then some of Quix's colorways. Yeah. We have some more colorways of the OG design coming out real soon. Yeah. So look for the next, you know, month or two. See Depending how things go. With, yeah, see how things go with China. Yeah. Hope everyone in China is okay. So the the other idea behind this, this is the Cambot head, but we've got some other examples here of other heads that we are exactly, producing yeah. for yeah, the yeah, body, yeah. right? We've talked about the the Cookie Cat crew a few times in the past without you. This and yeah, the sculpt yeah, on this yeah. is rad. So good. Yeah. And you did this. Really yeah, yeah. You did all this three years. Yeah, yourself. totally did this. Yeah. Which is let's, really let's nice. talk about how it. amazing it is that you just learned ZBrush yourself like last year, right? Yeah, about a year. Yeah. About a year. Yeah. And um, in that yeah. year, you just become. I kind super of gelled awesome with it. it. Yeah. yeah, and it really works. And to see him in three D in the flesh. From you know spinning it around on the Mac and stuff, it is really great to see because he's, he's come out really well. The details are lovely. Uh, yeah, the organic shape of the yeah, back man. Of, yeah, the, of, cool the, of the hoodie is really cool. Yeah, the onesie, the cookie one. I mean, yeah, the cat cool. onesie. So we've got the same body. We've got the same body as the Cambots. Right. Right. But we've uh, transformed it. And, we, and we've been trying to clarify like how we talk about the platform because yeah. originally we had named it the Chillin', Chillin and that didn't really stick for us. No. And it was just a working title. It was like a working title. It went on the boxes. And so we've decided to change the name of the platform to the Kanzi platform. That's right. Yeah. But these are still the can bots. So everybody yeah. who was like, all that hangry, angry mail, I said hangry. <laughs> all that angry mail that we got, <laughs> that hate mail that we got about like, you can't change the can bot name, it's my can bot. We're not changing the name of the can bot. We're just trying to name the platform overall so it makes sense. 
Yeah. So we're calling mm-hmm. it Kanzi for now. Right. Which is a really nice like smash up of your name Easy. and I'm the can and yeah. where it all comes from, yeah. right? Yeah. So we have another really cool sculpt on the desk that we haven't shown yet. This is another vinyl prototype that you sculpted. You want to tell us a little bit about that bad boy? Yeah, it is. Okay. So, he's the Robot Reaper. What? Uh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he's got the same kind of sadness to him, really. <laughs> I was going to say, he's the saddest little robot. Dude, I need robot. to the fuck up, right? Yeah. Um, there we go, yeah. Put that stick on all the buttons. Like, oh man. Just bite my sad toys. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, so, he, so what he is, he, he's a little robot, and he wants to be a, a Grim Reaper, so he dresses up like a Reaper, and that's as far as we've got. He takes your soul. He, <laughs> he takes, takes your soul, soul yeah. Actually, there he is. This yeah. has been here for a few weeks, and this is the first time I've noticed that it actually has, in 3D, your logo yeah, on it. Yeah, it's a little really rusty, cool. sort of seasy logo yeah. in that, which yeah. is nice. So we managed to get some, yeah, some rusty texture going on, on the actual robot, so... Yeah. He's never going to be a brand new robot. He's he's going to be a bit rusty because he's a sad death maybe, robot. Maybe you'll paint this one while you're here, so we can show it as a person. You know what? Maybe I will. Yeah. Yeah. What you just said was actually really interesting because we we watched the Oscars last night. We did. And I uh, fell asleep, but I didn't uh, watch and, it. Yeah. As I didn't watch them. the the director of Parasite, uh, Bong Joon Ho, said something really awesome. He he attributed it to Scorsese, but when he accepted, I, don't, I think it was his second award, he said. Uh, I've always said said to myself that the most personal work is yeah. the most creative right, work. Right, right, yeah. And I just thought of that again now because you're like, oh, these are really, really sad. But I know that these are all actually really personal to you. Yeah, yeah, for real. You, yeah, you, don't, yeah. you don't sculpt anything or design anything yeah. that doesn't actually it's mean a lot to depth. you. Like, you're not joking. Yeah. Like, this, this got <laughs> you through a lot in your life. Yeah, for real. Yeah, you know, you didn't, you didn't just be like, oh, I want to make a really cool spray can toy. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's not what happened. Yeah, no, there's a there's a huge story behind it, yeah. So I'm sort of briefly touched on it. But yeah, I think it's important. I like that. I like that personal touch. I like that it's come from my soul, you know, stuff like that. Otherwise, it just it's just a bit of plastic to me. Do you know what I mean? Right, no, and yeah. I think that that's a good point to make because I think when Designer Toys first started, it was all about telling the story of yeah. a character. And I, yeah, and I think yeah. that that's kind of vanished a little bit, a little so bit, it's really yeah, nice to bring that more. backstory and like the world that it belongs to back. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, I think you're right, yeah. Yeah, and I think that's yeah. why it resonates with people, is because it's not just a, 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 a hollow right, yeah. piece of plastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's actually something that really comes from your heart and your soul and it means something to you. And it's so, you know, everyone who's bought one, I think it means a lot to them too. Yeah, definitely. So yeah. we're really excited about the platform. Yeah, I love it. It's and great. we're so happy that you're here to, to hang with us. Yeah, yeah, I love you guys, man. Come on. Yeah, Thank you. Too. So we have yeah. lots of different colorways coming out, not only from CZ, but different artists that we're working with. Yeah, uh, yeah. Do you want to sneak a few of the artists that Go we have coming on, say out? Some. I'm not. No. <laughs> I, I, I'm very excited that we have two pedal rows, and yeah, you might have definitely. seen his oh. head at, at the show. It's not just a head. Yeah. Uh, it's no, a whole... it's, I know, but he's, he's, well, okay, fine. It's not, he's having shoes too, but he's still he keeping is. the same base. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, we're really excited about the two pedal rows. Right. Uh, uh, you, you'll have seen the design at the, at the show that we did last year, mm-hmm. the Rattle and Bone show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can um, see it on our website if you want yeah. to look at the pictures. Yeah. It's the Oni Kanba. So that one's going to be exciting. Yeah. Um, and, and he's all, he's he's there. I've, yeah. I've done the sculpt. Yeah. He's at, he's at the factory. Yeah, we saw yeah, the waxes. Cool. Yeah. We done. could show pictures of the waxes, but yeah. they're, they're still a little rough. Yeah, so that was another cool way that you could tie into that project, is not only that like, you create the Canva, but you can also help other artists translate their yeah. designs into the 3D for the Canva. Yeah, definitely. So it's really nice it's that really you can touch those. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, we're doing uh, a head with Vandal. Mm, yeah. So it's not yeah, a, that one's not a can bot. It's actually a vandal. Yeah. Uh, Who? Kanzi. Kanzi, a vandal yeah, Kanzi. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Thanks. Yeah. Using Thanks. using the language. The lingo. Uh, I feel like someone I'm gonna marry has one. Yes. That's the thing. Yes. <laughs> Some guy. I forget his name. Yep. And what's he doing? There's. Still thinking about it. No. 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 He's doing. He's doing bricks. He's doing a brick He's doing a He's doing a brick, doing brick. He's doing He's doing He's doing a brick bot. Yeah. Good. And also, I've seen the sketches of it because they were in my house and it's cool. I'm awesome. excited about it. That's a, a really good crossover between these two platforms, though, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because the wall, yeah, yeah, the street art, oh, absolutely. Yeah. everything kind yep. of ties yeah. together with it. Um, Catatomic's doing one. Mm-hmm. Right. Catatomic's yeah. doing a. Is he doing the clutter sculpt? He's doing the clutter sculpt. Yeah. yeah. And Mus Musculus is doing a clutter sculpt. Yeah. Well, I mean, how much do you want to reveal right now? 
Oh. We could, we could go there's to a lot. There's yeah. a lot of things it's happening. It's a platform yeah. toy. We're very excited about it yeah. um, because of all the opportunities it affords us to work with artists we want to work with who maybe don't translate to resin, which is what Clutter was previously known for. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Someone who's more comfortable working in you know 3D modeling or working making a uh, a template for pad printing. Yeah. Yeah. It it lets us work with a lot of artists that we weren't able to work with previously. So yeah. I think it's a cool. Absolutely. Yeah. The cool opportunity. And some of the street artists too, they yes. don't necessarily make like mm. 3D art at all. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a nice way to yeah. translate mm -hmm. that up. We've talked about Chris RWK is doing one. Yeah. Yeah. All that. So. There's, a, there's a few other big ones coming that we, yeah. we can sneak at a later date. Yeah. We'll come back to this topic again. There's so much for us to say. See you here all month. Meru month. So we can uh, be month. on those yep. shows. Yep, we can do this again. Maybe we'll do it over beers. Ooh. And he can tell us the whole story of yes. the empty can. Dude, I'm on that. I'm on we'll that. We'll do yeah. a separate interview. Like a weird yeah, cool. therapy session. What else should we talk about? Well, next up, we have a really special release happening this week. This is a surprise to everybody. Super sneaky super surprise. surprise. So, we'll um, so we have a super sneak peek happening right now. Dropping this week through I Am Retro. Towards the end of the week, we think, is the hustle version of the Ron English Big Papa Toy. It's sick. It's beautiful. It's super awesome. It's to whet your appetite for our party on oh, sure. February 28th. <laughs> Whoa. Super sneaky drop. <laughs> so stay tuned on Instagram. I am retro. We'll drop the details for this and it's going to be rad. See you <laughs> soon. And it's going to be rad. <laughs> so for the first time, uh, we had a couple of really cool artists send us some stuff to review. Uh, which is new to we're us, about. so we're super excited. I actually, we got a uh, a newsletter, just, you know, a mass email to our info account, and before I knew these toys were being sent to us, I saved the email, and I was like, Miranda, this toy's coming out that you're going to be really excited about. And I was like, oh yeah, I just seen it. <laughs> and like, awesome. separately, they'd already emailed yeah. Miranda. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and anything with them. stingrays and crabs. Yeah, that and ducks and crabs, well, and we're all into it. So, we're super excited to look at these. We haven't opened them yet. Nope. We've just seen pictures. So, I don't okay. know what they are at all. Oh, open, it's open yours. oh, they're bigger than I thought. Oh, yeah, they are. Oh. What, what are they called? Oh, what are they, called? they are called so, the, the, singing, the duck. stinging duck, and it's okay, a cross cool. between a duck and a stingray. Right, okay. So, I love okay. stingrays. I made a stingray I'm toy. I made a stingray way. toy that I called something that you could never pronounce. So nope. Uh, and these are by uh, Anonymous Rat, who is the anon anonymous rat on Instagram. Go check them out. This is super awesome. Check <laughs> it out. Yeah, it is. It's half Stingray, half yes, Duck. And that one's Let's GID, see. I think. This I have the OG one. Um, and these <laughs> retail for $30 and are currently on sale as of recording for $25. So if you want to grab so, them, this So is it can awesome. kind of fly, it goes through the water like this. Yes. And then it's like, whoa, I'm a duck. And then, <laughs> uh, but it's also got grumpy eyebrows. Like, yes. it's just, it's gonna kill you. I love it. So I can we rename it the Duck Bill Stinger Bus? The Duck Bill Stinger Bus, <laughs> yeah. Good? Anonymous Rat, we have hey. renamed your toy. Cece's renamed your toy. <laughs> the Duck Bill Stinger Bus. I like them. Yeah. So they're about, what, three or four inches? Something like that, yeah. Four inches, I'd say. This big, in your hand. It's really cool. Yeah, if you look at it. This one's like teal and orange. I'm curious about the glow on this one. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, well, we'll, tr we'll try and get the glow in the video. Where are these available? These are available at... They're available on their website. If you go to the Anonymous Rats uh, Instagram, there's a link up there that goes directly to their shop. Um, wait, is this their wait, first have toy? We, we haven't done the thing you always have to do with every toy. Do you smell it? Mm. Does it stink? <sighs> it smells like Chinese vinyl. That's, so, yes. Yeah. It doesn't really have much of a smell. Does yeah, that one? it doesn't, actually. No, no. This isn't bad. So it says it's a mystery, yeah, it's mysterious smart. creature who is known to that live under like the pink. deep sea. So he has a story, which I like. Yeah, I like that he has a story. Oh, there's the other character. Tell me the story. Yeah. So he's a mysterious creature who is known to live under the deep sea. We're still investigating how his genetics were altered from the traditional duck man, allowing him to adapt to underwater living. <laughs> yes. From the traditional oh, duck man. He spends most of his time playing with electricity and surfing around the sea. But sometimes his primal instincts kick in and he has an urge to hunt and eat a wild peach man. That's what the other thing is. Wow. Yes. Okay. Where's the peach man? The peach man is a... Peach man we got a pin on. We talked about oh. stick the... You probably can't got a little butt. Can I see the peach man? Yeah. A peach man. He's cool. Is that a, a peach something. man? Yeah, I thought it was more like a, a pink droplet. Like a pink frosting. No, it's like if you look at the peach emoji, it's pretty yeah. similar. Oh, okay. And so, also this is... I don't know number what, number 18. 18. I don't know yeah. if it's 18 out of We don't know. We don't something. know how many there are of them. There are at least 18 colorways of this. <laughs> no, because well, this is two different colorways that both say 18. 
Uh, so, so thank you, Anonymous Rafa sending these yes, in. Yes, thank you. We love them. They'll so go in the collection. You should go They're buy really one. They're really crazy. Ooh. We love them. <laughs> So what should we talk about next? So we got another <laughs> couple of pieces sent to us by an artist named Neil Ewing, who we was on our radar radar last year for doing the Safumi couch, which is here. Which is wow. here. Um, and we I, love. We do. We love the Safumi couch. Can you sing us that song you made up about it? The Safumi couch. Did song? I make up a song about the yeah, Safumi couch? Yeah, you made a song about the Safumi couch, and you can put toys on me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, we knew, I think we first saw Safubi Couch at Five Points last year, I want to say. I saw it at Decon last year. It's, I mean, it's really cool. I like Safubi Couch And you can put the dogs on it. So he sent, uh, Bubbies as well in a bunch of different colors, and we don't actually know how much these retail for. I tried to do some research on his website. But we like a good dog. Um, <laughs> and based on what he has available on his website right now, I think they retail for about Twelve dollars, somewhere in that vicinity. This one's painted. Uh, that one's painted, so I think it's more. But the unpainted yeah. one, I'm guessing. Can I play with a painted one? Twelve dollars. Yeah, you can play with a painted one. Would you like this painted? Fuck yeah. One? Oh, this one's like realistically dog painted. Whoa. This one's painted like a. Whoa. Like a cheetah lizard zebra. Also, I'm not gonna Whoa. take this one off. Cheetah lizard zebra. Because yeah. we'll like, show you these little yeah. like hand drawn. Well, look at the painted, painted the eyes on this one. Oh, yeah. cool. I love them. Yeah, I like them painted really a lot. Cool. Yeah. I think I like them painted better. Can you stack them? Yeah. I mean, I, no. That's I would like. I would like. Oh, I want to see the just the eyes. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. You can stack cool. them a little bit. You can stack them a little bit. Maybe if you turn them this way. Oh my. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. So, like, you can see how high a stack we can make. There we go. Dangerous. Yeah. I'm nervous now. Oh, this one's clear. These are red. Ooh. Yeah. So thank yeah. you to Neil Ewing for sending yes. these over. Yes. And you can follow yes. Neil uh, Neil underscore Ewing on Instagram. He's from we'll Denver, it, Colorado. He's from Denver, Colorado. And no we'll find him. Put the info. Yeah. Oh, Somewhere near where my hands are. Here. Yeah. So if you want to send us something to review, get in touch, send it over. We love to talk about toys. There's so much more to talk about. Yeah, about let's talk about him. Yeah. 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 So a few weeks ago we showed you images of the wax of this and sort of told you the history of this figure we've been working on with Jeff Lamb. Yes. Um, and we finally, we said we would get us a Fubi pull and that it would not be beige and both of those things have happened. Yes. And then, so he's really, really cool. He's actually, this prototype they sent it to us in um, know, sparkly gray. Do we know how big he is? Let's Alex just say he's eight inches. He's eight inches. He's eight inches. And he comes with like his clear dome and reveals his brain. Um, this is like actually a translucent black or gray that the factory sent us. So this isn't what it's actually going to be like. It's actually going to be clear so you can fully see the brain. And then we're going to pick all the different colors for the vinyl this week. And we're really excited about it. And he's super playable and super fun. His name is Karg. Karg, His yes. name is Karg. Karg, yes, yeah. yes. And we were discussing maybe changing it from being spelled with three A's to some sort of like umlaut. Oh, that's right, because it's oh, not yeah. Karg, it's Karg. 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 There's a lot of, lots yeah. of... Uh, his, his thigh rolls make me really happy. I like his chubby little thighs and legs. Yes, like his, his, his skin thigh rolls. rolls. Okay, thigh rolls, right, yeah. Right, right, right. What do you like He's like a baby, I want to chew him. I like his fingers. Suction cup fingers, very cool. Yes. This is he's a, like, uh, he's coming to stomp you. Like, rah, 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 rah. Pop once it's painted. Yeah, and he's got all this really cool down. wax, cold wax texture on his back. Yeah. So I poured the wax for this, and when I did it, I purposefully poured the wax into a cold mold so that we would get these really cool lines on the back because it's something that I've noticed over the years on the toys that I love. And I actually did it on the Penetrator X head. If you've ever bought one of the Penetrator X's from me or from John Rampage or anybody else who may have trafficked in them, if you look at them really close up on the eyes, there's like these like really fine lines going all the way up his head and that's from pouring. I'm revealing the secret right now, if you don't know, pour hot wax into a cold mold and as it goes in it splashes, it does this, this really cool organic lines up, but, and it, uh, up the mold. And in a lot of ways it's a mistake but I just think it's really cool because I, I noticed that Akamatsu had done that with the Skullhead butt body and I thought it was a really good way to integrate the Penetrator X into that universe. And so when we were pouring the car, I, I did that as well. And so if you, when you buy this figure, you'll see that he's got all these little tiny lines. hair lines mm -hmm. around some him. some imperfections that make it right. kind of better, right? Yeah, and we sculpted it, we made sure that we did all the barnacles asymmetrically all over his arms and the veins are all different, like, it's just... Right, it's nice to explain that, because some people are going to look at it and be like, oh, it must be, it must have been 3D printed, but that's really not what it is, it's... 
the wax. Oh, and look, you can make him go like this. If you rotate his legs, you can make him do this. He's like, he's, he's like, oh, what, huh? what, huh, what? Car! We had a really awesome gallery show this past weekend. We did. Thank you to all the artists that participated in, in Action Figures 8. Thank you to um, Jesse and Nikki from Knights of the Slice. Yes. It was a really cool opening. The gallery was jam-packed, full of artists, and mm. people were checking out the exhibition. I mean, I think um, it was the busiest it's been in... We had to turn on the air conditioning. It was freezing outside. We yeah. had to turn on the air conditioning. <laughs> there were so many people in there. It was very sweaty. It was great. It's true. People came up to me and said, there's two times a year that I get to see everybody. Five points and an action figure. Nice. Right. I was like, wow. So it's... we do create events for communities to come together and see That's each right. other because it's That's so right. important. Nobody gets to see each other face to face, yes. and you lose a lot of of human. Co not only you use human contact, you you don't get like what people mean and express to you when they're talking to you only online. Right. Mm -hmm. We had a special release at the gallery show this weekend because Super Robot King made a American Cross bootleg figure. Oh. How did that feel? <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> Uh, that was really hard for me because I knew about it weeks in advance. He was reaching out to like a bunch of your friends and like, coworkers and people you know for like, you know, hints about you. And so I, it was my my responsibility to make sure that your shorts were appropriately long. Thank you. Thank you for making sure that <laughs> I was wearing. Your knees were showing previously. Yeah, I wasn't wearing. I don't wear young shorts. And um, I really like this the hot glue gun. So I was gonna say you do wear young shorts. You don't wear old man shorts. No, you wear young, very young shorts. But young young shorts in my vernacular are like. The ones that come that are above the knee that are like the kind you wore at summer camp. Oh, because when yeah. I think of you look like a teenager, you wear teenager pants. He made my shoes glow the mm -hmm. way my shoes actually glow at the yes, gallery, yes. which made me feel really weird that you're looking at me, Jack. Stop <laughs> fucking looking at me. It was cool that you had a glue gun, though, yeah, because that is your weapon yeah. of choice. And it's had the same glue gun for, 20, for 27 years. This no, he hasn't because we made him throw it away. <laughs> <I know. laughs> this place is made out of hot glue. It is. It is. Thank but you, Jack. Uh, they, that was awesome. And I'm really proud of the sculpts and the figures that Super Robot King is making. So if you're not following Jack, go on Instagram, follow him at Super Robot King. The stuff that he's making is amazing. Oh, yeah. So uh, we have a few late arrivals to the Inaction Figure Show that we wanted to uh, put online and tell you guys about that we're really, really excited about. To talk about is from Youth Attack. Thank you so much for bringing these in. We're super excited about the figure and we're going to be dropping them on Instagram. Check it out. And also thank you to Tom from Sidekick for your amazing Mars Attacks cards. If you haven't already gone yet, you can fund them on Kickstarter and follow Tom at Sidekick Lab on Instagram. Thank you so much for participating in Action Figures. We love you guys. We'll see you all next year for an Action Figure 9. So, In Action Figures is an interesting show because there's so many artists making toys like this that we aren't on our radar. So if you feel like you've been overlooked, send us an email, show us your work. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. We'd, we'd love to Knock have you- Knock on our door. Knock on our door. We'd love to have you be involved. So what should we talk about next? Next month. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> next month, we're <Bruce. laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm doing it again. <laughs> Okay. All the way from Indonesia, next month we have Mr. Kum Kum, and we have an awesome super secret announcement. Super secret news? Super secret news. Last week we talked a little bit about the fact that in March we have an awesome gallery show with Mr. Kum Kum. Okay. As part of that gallery show, we're going to drop a super secret, super special, super awesome collaboration between Mr. Kum Kum and Quix. It's going to be a really? sweet release. Yeah. Whoa. Um, so this is a Martian Toys produced piece, right? You know it. You probably yeah, you're probably Ravager. familiar with the Ravager. Yeah. Um, and if you're familiar with Mr. Kum Kum's work, this is a really nice interpretation of it on vinyl. Yeah. Um, I wasn't sure I was going to turn out knowing how nicely he paints his original work, and uh, I think it turned out beautifully. There's some really yeah, cool details on it. Really beautiful. So I'm this, excited about it. This will be dropping as part of his gallery show. Look out for more information. We'll be telling you the price, the edition size. They'll be uh, here how you in can person. Get it. You can come and get one. Yep. We'll let you know. Yeah, so be here next month. So what should we talk about next? Five Points Festival, May 30th, 31st this year. Tickets are on sale now. Early bird tickets are available.
Girly what? bird? Yeah, did you What's say a girly, girly bird <laughs> ticket? Five points best 2020, May 30th, 31st at the Brooklyn Expo Center. Tickets are what? available now. Go get them, grab your early bird special, grab your VIP pass. Early bird special? Is it like pork chops for <laughs> old people? <laughs> yes. Just like pork chops for old people. Would you like some early bird special? <laughs> There's one other thing that we really, 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 really want to talk about this week before we're done. Who do we have on the couch now? <laughs> we have a special guest right now. It's the Bear Champ from JC Rivera. We don't often talk about the work that we do at Pleather Studios. <laughs> mm. So, um, mm. here's a project, a sneak peek of a project that we're working on with uh, UVD Toys. He is the, how big is he? Three foot? Two, two, foot. Foot. two foot. So this is a two foot JC Rivera Bear Champ. We don't often talk about the projects that we do at Split Studios, especially when we're hired by other people to make things. So Travis asked us to take photos of the Bear Champ uh, for, in, with humans for scale so that he could see how it came out. And so we said, hey man, can we put it in the video? And he was like, sure bro. And we're like, cool dude, thanks man. So here he is. And yeah, so we're going to be, we're going to be rotocasting the bear form and we're going to be making the crown in separate cool colors. Yeah. So nice. thanks Travis for letting us show this. Yeah. Nice to show the work that we're nice. in process on. Yeah, we don't yeah. usually get to show stuff that we're yeah. in the middle of making. From behind the bear. Come from, from behind, from behind, behind the, bear. the bear. Coming to you from behind the bear. It's all over. <laughs> so we've probably got a lot in this week. We've talked about a lot of stuff. Thank yeah. you for watching. Um, subscribe, like us, share it, show your friends, tell everybody about us. Make sure you watch us. Buy tickets to Five Points. And don't forget, my t-shirt this week is from Creepsville in LA. If you want to appear in this spot here <laughs> in the next video, send me a t-shirt. I'm a large. Or smalls. I've got a, a WK on just to wrap my boy. Nice. Yeah. And as always, my shirt was $3. <laughs> Yay! Cesar will be here all month. Come and say hi to him. Uh, once again, if you have a question that you'd like us to answer on the show, send us a DM, shoot us an email, get at us, leave a comment, yeah. and we'll do our best to answer it. Comment on our videos anyway. Tell us if you like them. Yeah. Tell us if you don't like them. Yeah. We'll delete it. We will. But tell us if you We only like positive reinforcement. Thank you. Bye! Bye. Let me get my butt back together before. Boom, 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 boom. I'm a trombone. <laughs> I think you're a tuba. I am a tuba, I'm sorry. Ha, ha. Knock it on our door. Knock it on our door. Musical episode we've done. Oh, cool, okay. <laughs> oh, that was delicious. So, Mitch. We can do this. We can. Whoa, whoa. What song is that? <laughs> the right stuff? The right stuff.